Okay, we are going to edit a statement of purpose for a PhD applicant interested in social psychology. That's hard to say. And I'm going to edit it briefly here. I might get through all of it. I might skim it and go through a few times. But we're going to take a quick look at editing this statement of purpose for this candidate. First off, I don't love opening up with a quote or a story or like really giving your power to somebody else, giving your stage to someone else. This is your stage to tell your story. And I love bringing other people into it or, you know, really influential things. But, you know, chances are you're not super connected to every author that you're going to talk about, like, you know, Whitman once said or whatnot. So I'm going to leave this person a note to kind of maybe restructure this. <laughs> I'll do some edits as well. Can we have a stronger opening here? Why is this author so important to you and your work? So everything we want to frame in terms of us and the work we want to do and the impact we want to have in the world are big vision. So she compelled me to emphasize, empathize with women who tackle draconian laws on top of society's default gender discrimination settings. Hence, I was pained when a prominent Indian university recently dropped Mahatma Devi's riveting piece from the syllabus on charges of its gruesome sexual content and negative portrayal of Indian armed forces. The ensuing political fallout was polarizing and boisterous, but added no meaningful discussion on women's rights. Scrutinizing the Britain word and its ripple effect on individuals and masses, nourishes and listen on people and their actions. Okay. However, I seek to move beyond diagnosing human behavior through a literary analysis alone. Research-based approaches and scientific methods within social psychology are potent tools for examining individual and group actions. A doctorate program in social psychology will deliver me clarity on discriminatory attitude, thereby allowing me to devise solutions to discrimination and other prejudice-based social wrongs. Okay, so we kind of got to what she wants to do, right? So she does want to go into social psychology to basically help remove prejudice from our society, which is very admirable. But it took us a long time to get there. So let's see if we can edit it a little bit clearer or just give us a little bit more understanding of what which this person is really trying to accomplish. So let's try to reframe it a little bit more from her perspective and like why this is so important versus like society at large or author at large. So let's talk about her presenting at this conference and then what happened afterwards. So um, I would give a year to, I like to give years throughout this to kind of ground them in terms of your growth and trajectory throughout your life leading you to your PhD. So I would say in 2000 XX, because I don't know the year she did this. And right, we need to spell this out because I don't know what this means. So put that in there. Thank you. Uh, looks like we've got the commas. I can really receive you the comments. What do I have to do? Again, give them some time. So, like months later, years later, I learned.
Um, we're going to say shortly after if you don't want to miss the date. It's getting a little wordy. I learned my comment in the university about this test. And I was riveting peace in the syllabus. On charges of his gruesome sexual content and the portrayal of the Indian armed forces. And so, <laughs> and then we can get to here. So, so we're, we're like, so I presented this thing, then I noticed this thing, then this happened, and this is why I'm here, right? We're like getting you there a little bit quicker. So the ensuing political fallout was polarizing and boisterous, but added no meaningful discussion on women's rights. Okay. Scrutinizing the written word and circle effect that individuals and masses nourishes my wisdom or people and their actions. So it was then that I realized I wish to move beyond the temporary theory and like we're gonna like cut the rest of this out, right? Because it's basically taking you there, right? So we don't need to say that it nourishes my wisdom and soul because the it's not really adding much. So, and now instead of however, I seek to move beyond diagnosing, that's what I'm saying up here. It was then that I realized I wish to move beyond the very theory um, and tackle research based approaches within psychology, within social psychology to do what? To understand them. To so it's like not just examining. Like we don't want to just study something and be like, oh, I studied it. We want to study something to do a result, to create something. Like so, what is that something? But then social psychology to devise solutions to discrimination and other prejudice based to the little bar understanding of actions and improve solutions to I guess I'm just taking a little So that is how I would maybe alter that. I might ask this person some different stories or things because I, I think this is good. Like it shows that they presented some work and they had some critical thought into how they got here. But we might want to have something just, just a little bit clearer. But that's how I would update that initial paragraph, that intro there to get them moving in the right direction, taking them from like, you know, what sparked you to do this thing? And then, you know, what's the thing that you really want to do? And then we'll spend the rest of the paper discussing how we want to have that impact and why we're qualified to be the person to really make this big impact. So what does the final product look like? Um, if you turn that on to see all the track changes, you can see we moved a lot of things around and we did a fair amount of just updating the text of it to flow a little bit more in a concise, clear way. So editing is really important and it is really critical that you put a critical eye here so you have your best results.